Hello and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is where I go on and on telling you about stuff I watched on TV. This one is about visual communication. Um, and what made me think of uh, this uh, was when I was watching a Netflix documentary. This one is called Stutz. You should check it out. And it's about a therapist named Philip Stutz. And what drew me in was in the description, it talked about how this therapist makes little note cards with little drawings on it to kind of explain really in depth psychological concepts and simplifies them into like little visual iconography. And I was like, oh, I gotta see this. But it was so much more than that. I encourage people to watch it. I absolutely loved it. But then it started me thinking about like how, how important visual communication is and how it can speak to someone in ways that all the words in the world can't. And it made me think about how people say, show me, don't tell me. You know, like if you can break it down and where you show me something instead of just blah, 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 like going on and on like I am right now, um, then it makes it all the more meaningful. But I was thinking how that translates into art as well, that it's a visual communication method and how there are, there's simple visual communication, like a simple visual language for e like very, very complex emotions like love and melancholy and rage and joy and happiness and all these kinds of things like you know that you understand um just as a human being exactly what that is and what that feels like and how that translates and how important visual communication is um, so when you're composing and when you're planning out your artwork, I think it's always important to like ask yourself, um, what am I trying to say with this? Does it, does it have, um, you know, a direct meaning or is this supposed to convey a feeling? Um, is this just about how uh, an association that you're trying to make with the viewer. Is this tranquility? Is this quiet? Is this joy? Is this, um, you know, stressful? What, it, what is this? And will those things read to the viewer in the way that you're trying to communicate them? Maybe, maybe not. And like everybody interprets things differently. And there's large cultural differences in the, in the way visual symbology and, and meaning is conveyed to viewers and stuff. And does this meaning in essence, um, add value to it, or does it take away? Like, am, is what I'm trying to say overloading the, the visual space, or is it actually contributing? Uh, so all, I think, are valid questions to ask yourself when you are putting a piece together, and like, when you back up from it and give it some room, and then come back to it in a few minutes, and then you look at it again with fresh eyes, like, is that what I meant to say, and what, what, what are other people seeing when they view that work? And is that what I meant? Um, so all like valuable questions, I think that are good to ask. And I really, really recommend that you take a look at Stutz. I thought it was fantastic. Conversations between friends, I think are always amazing. And that's basically what this is. So uh, we hope that you find this uh, helpful and hope that you enjoy.